Manchester City 2, Sheffield United 0. A great way to end a great year for City with five trophies. With a 2 0 win to City at home to Sheffield United. Um, I thought Foden and Rodri played really well. I thought Alvarez worked hard. Um, and uh, it was good that we kept the clean sheet because I think that's the first clean sheet that we've kept in the Premier League since um, the United away game where we won 3 0 in October. And it's two wins on the bounce now in the league. And three wins out of the last four in the league. Above Arsenal until at least tomorrow. Because they go to Craven Cottage to take on Fulham. And. Um, it's. Two points behind Liverpool until at least Monday. Because they play. Against Newcastle at home on Monday. On New Year's Day. So hopefully they might drop points, but I don't see it. But you never know, because the Premier League has been weird this season. There has been a lot of surprise results. Um, and I think when we've got Kevin De Bruyne coming back now, because obviously he was on the bench today, but didn't play any minutes. Um, I think he's going to play against Huddersfield, because I think that would be a good game to get him back into the swing of things and, and get his fitness up a bit. And... Um, and then maybe rest him. Like, don't play him the whole game against Huddersfield. But probably start him and take him off around maybe the 60th minute. If we're winning by a big score line. And then rest him for the Newcastle game at St. James's Park. Um, I don't think it was City's best performance today. But we still did enough to win. And we were by far the better team. There were some... Stages in the first half where it looked like Sheffield United were getting into the game. And they did have a few chances. But we managed to stay strong at the back. Where I think is in previous games I think we might have crumbled and conceded. But we didn't so that was good. Um, if you are wondering why I haven't got a top on it. Because uh, I'm not going to make this the most longest video today. Because I've got um, a long journey tomorrow to my family's house for the new year. And then... Um, I, I, I'm not naked. I've got pants on, but just I just don't have a top on. Um, man of the match, I would have gone with Rodri to be honest. I know Foden did play well and, and he did get two assists, but I feel like there were points where he wasn't really doing that much in the games, and I think overall Rodri had a better game. Um, but I am confident we can do four in a row now. It's just. The consistency, we're getting the consistency going a bit more now. It's just that we can, it's just that we need to continue it to a regular basis and not like have any drop offs now. We can afford a few drop offs because I think it's not going to be a season where if you drop points, it's going to be like very like bad because like a lot of teams will drop points between now and the end of the season, and I think every team will drop points between now and the end of the season. Because it's a competitive season and, and it's not going to be a season from now to the end of the season where any team goes winning, winning, winning without drawing or losing. Because I feel like every team will lose and draw games before the end of the season because um, it's a competitive season and it's not going to be one of those seasons where a team wins the title convincingly. It's going to be a close title race, but I'm confident with the experience that we have of winning the league before that... Um, Liverpool and Arsenal don't have as much because even though Liverpool have won the league fairly recently back in 2019-2020 season I think they will um, lack a bit of experience because there's not that many players that Liverpool have in the current squad that was actually there when they won it in 1920 it's, it's only a few whereas like City's like entire squad knows how to win a league. And it's only Jesus and Zinchenko that know how to win the league at Arsenal. So I, I expect them to maybe fall off a bit and it might end up being in a two-horse race between City and Liverpool um, at some point during the season. Um, 
but thank you for watching. It's been a good uh, year for City. I obviously will do a video tomorrow um, to wish everyone Happy New Year. It's been a fantastic year for City and the channel. I, I, I really appreciate everyone who's watched um, my videos this year. And hopefully next year can be a special year for City and the channel, just like 2023. And um, when it gets to 2024, I, I will do a video wishing everyone a happy new year. Because um, I've done that for most years, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.